So hello everyone, I am Akshay Kumar Varma and welcome to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club and IT Gatala. So in this video, we are going to talk about resumes, how should we make it, why are they important and all of that stuff. So first of all, why should we make resumes? So whenever a company will come on campus or off campus, you will have to provide your resume to the recruiters so that they could see your skills listed in a single page, right? So basically, uh, whenever you will apply to a company, many, many people don't apply to a company just because they don't have a resume. And therefore, it is a must thing to have uh, before your internship season or even if you are in your first year. Uh, if you will have a resume from your first year, whenever you get some achievement, you just have to edit a single line or put a single line in that. And it will be very easier for you to build up a resume later on. Right. So basically, uh, it should look professional. It should not uh, be very hazy kind of thing or it should not contain irrelevant information, which is not at all important for the internship or placement that you are applying to. Right. And uh, another thing what companies do now is because they have a lot of participants, a lot of applicants actually. Uh, so let's assume there are uh, a single post, there are about a thousand applicants. So how will the hiring manager, the recruiter manage all this? They use an applicant tracking system that is the ATS and they just submit the resumes to that machine. It is a basically a software. It will pass your resume automatically. It will look for keywords. So there's not a human sitting that will actually look at your resume and tell whether it's good or not. So basically the resume should be ATS passable. That is, they should be readable by a machine. That is why we'll submit the uh, resume in a PDF format and not in some image format or something, right? So basically how are we going to make our resumes? We are going to make our resumes in overleaf.com using LaTeX. So uh, the template for LaTeX is circulated among all your CRs. If you don't have it, you can ping, ping us on Discord or anywhere. We will provide you with the template. So now let's jump on to actually the overleaf.com. So I will show you how to edit the images and do all that stuff. Yeah, so this is how the overleaf website will look like. On the left side, you will have the code. You had the code is there of LaTeX. And right side, you will see the actual resume. It will, uh, if you don't see it, just click on recompile and it will recompile and show you the resume. So this is how a typical resume should look like. It should contain your name your contact details, your education. Uh, if you have experience, then good enough. If you don't have it, not a problem. And then you will have a project. Uh, you will have project section and achievement section, technical skills and position of responsibility. So if you're in the second year, try to follow this particular uh, format. But if you're in the first year, uh, I know that you might not have experience for projects. So in case of, uh, only in that case, if you need to fill up a resume, you can include other things like hobbies, right? Um, so uh, for the second year, I think you should try to follow this particular orientation. In the first year, a different template is shared with you guys. All right. So uh, let's say you have to edit it for yourself. So let's say your name is Yash Shah, for example. So I'll just, uh, you will have to change this name, right? So you, there's no need to actually understand a whole a lot of code, right? You can just find out the Akshay Kumar Vama and replace it with your name. So you can just uh, click on Control F. It will search for find. Or for the Mac, there will be Command F. Just search for Akshay Kumar Vama. So here it is my name. So if you replace it with Yash Shah. And just hit on recompile. What will happen is uh, my name will be changed, right? It will be Yash Shah now. Similarly, on the same lines, you can change your phone number. So let's say your phone number is 1234567890. We just write it here and again hit on recompile. So again, uh, your phone number will be changed. See, no, your, now your phone number is also changed. I will just zoom in now, right? Similarly, you can find everything that is there, right? Then the second thing is mail to email ID. So you have to change this, change also, you have to change this. So this is basically a hyperlink thing. Whenever you will be clicking on this, it will be uh, opening up an intent to mail to, right? Similarly, this uh, LinkedIn is also clickable. So whenever you will click it, it will actually redirect to my LinkedIn account. So all of you should have a LinkedIn account ready. It is very important and all of you should also have a GitHub account. Even if it is empty, just put it in the resume because it is a must thing that every developer must have if you're looking up for a job in the IT sector. Right, so similarly, I think you have understood so that uh, if you have basic uh, HTML knowledge, you can also understand what is HREF. So basically, this will be the text shown. Now, uh, this will be the text shown and this will be the actual link which is hidden beneath this text. Similarly, you will have to change your education. Right. So I am from EC. So I have written Bachelor of Technology in Electronics and Communication. So for example, if you are from Computer Science and Engineering, you will write that. If you are from Chemical, you will write that. And you have to mention a CGPA and your years of college. So I am a third year undergrad. So I have written 2020 to 2024. I am graduating in 2024. Similarly, I have written my school details. Right. And then secondly, I have written education. So let's, uh, sorry. Secondly, I have written experience. Right. After education. 
so let's say you don't have any experience so what you can do is create a code right so all, all of you must have done up some basic coding so what you have to do is just select all this just click on control and the slash sign so what this will do is comment all this code so whenever you will comment on this code and hit on recompile you will see the experience session will disappear right you have seen the experience session has now disappeared so you have to do this only in case you don't have any experience right okay so i'll just uh, uncomment it so for uncommenting use the same shortcut control plus slash and i will just again hit on recompile so now the experience session will come again so now i have mentioned my projects so if you have any projects i will tell you how to write it uh, well so all uh, first of all you have to give the name and the hyperlink so if you have a hosted project then you can uh, actually put the link of the hosted site right but i have made an android application and cannot be hosted so i have given the github link so whenever i will click on that my github will open with the repo the repository of that actual code so now you have to write about the project in brief points right and it should contain some details about what you've done what you have made and it should also contain the technologies that you have used try to use as many keywords as you can for example i have used all these kotlin java as you firebase right and then uh, in second section you will see you have achievement so this is the most important section of the resume uh, whenever someone will see you will see that now what are the achievements of this particular person so if you have been doing cp i have been doing cp for the past two years so i have written this cp profiles i have written my little profile and have uh, mentioned other achievements related to cp and hackathons all that right uh, if even if you have to write so if, if you are in the first year and you don't have many achievements uh, in only in that case right uh, it is not for the second year second year try to put on the technical achievements but for the first year it could be something like the school achievements right only if you're in the first year now comes the section of technical skill so in the technical skills you have to write all the things that you have learned so you can also write the things that you might learn uh, under a month or under two months because resume will not be getting shortlisted immediately or something will not happen just so fast that you couldn't learn anything so i have mentioned the language that i have used that i have learned or the technologies the computer fundamentals that i have learned or other tools as well so don't get overwhelmed by this you don't have to write everything just in the starting uh, even my resume uh, was very very empty when i was starting out the first resume that i made was literally very empty and in the end uh, you create positions of responsibility in this case if you're in the first year i know you are not in many clubs uh, but second years can write all these things uh, for the first years you can write the position of responsibilities that you have held in your schools that will work just for now but for the second years uh, as your internship season is coming uh, all the school did achievements and all that won't work you will have to do it at the college level right you will need the achievements that you have got in college and all the technical stuff that you have done in college so try not to put any irrelevant information in this resume as you can see it is on point right uh, any, anyone can see that i have been doing tag related thing for a long time and that is what the purpose of a resume is you don't have to mention irrelevant things uh, so i believe that is uh, all for it uh, if you have any doubts you can always hit me up and uh, i think this is not a very hard task to actually edit out this code right because you just have to replace the text you don't have to actually understand what is going on beneath uh, everything you just have to understand that uh, for example i have to change experience so that i will just find where experience is written and i will edit it out right and for small things i can tell you for example text bf means uh, it will be bold so for example as you can see languages word is bold because it is in text bf and then again uh, this is written in another line so just like that the small things you can just uh, experiment on and learn it it won't take much time to actually build your resume and uh, yeah, that was all for now. I, I, I hope that you understood why and that you should build it fast. Uh, that's all the video. Thank you so much.